Hello, everybody, and welcome to the uh, Human Colony Hukalo Saturday webinar. Today we have uh, Roxanne Swainhart channeling, and um, we're going to have a really good time. Uh, I'm going to pass it over to Valerie for uh, introductions. Valerie, you, you ready? Sure. Good morning, everyone. I hope this day is as beautiful as it seems to be starting. And we have with us Alex, Carolina. Johannes, Michelle, Momentum, Roxanne, Sarah, Teresa, and of course Roxy. Roxy, how are you today? Wonderful. How are you? Oh, wonderful. And who do you think you might be bringing in for us? Well, Cynthia's is going to come in first. And uh, he's saying if you have questions, please do whatever process you do to get the okay. questions, write them down, put them in order, and then Val, you can ask him if it's outside of the room, or Dan can ask him if he gets it from outside of the room, but inside of the room, just get her in order, and let's rock and roll. Sounds good. All right. Well, you want a minute to get into your position there? Matter. All right. You guys ready? Mm, we're ready. Thank you all for coming. Mm, thank you. Greetings once again to the collective. This is Osipius from the Oversoul Collective Fire. We bid you a good day. Let us begin our journey hand in hand, exploring what we always love to call the unknown. Truly, that's what it is. In the idea of the known, you know what it is. You've played it. It's boring. It's done. It's over. Let's go into the unknown. Let's see what's scary in there. Hmm? What is scary in the unknown? Nothing. Why? Because it can't be. Because the unknown is joy. It is only, all the time, the fractal individual that takes any kind of vibration and distorts it into a version of what you call scary. It is you. Don't forget, entities of ascension, that you are in a subjective universe. Don't think for one second there's someone else controlling your universe. All of your understandings are your own individual perspective of that according to what you are in the moment. How far you evolved, hmm? that kind of idea. Always understand, it's your show. That of Michelle, hmm? my life purpose is to pump out puppies, have babies, is what you said. Hmm? Really? And you just want to know or what I want to do, maybe I can go feed the homeless in Russia? Why don't you? Hmm? Michelle, darling, you are your own authority. You get to run the show. But there is a fear for taking your own authority back and saying, fuck it, I'm going to do what I want to do. Yes, we understand that. And that lies within the collective whole to really know and understand that you are allowed to choose your own destiny. If everyone had one destiny and we missed it, then we're wasting a lot of freaking time, aren't we? Hmm? If someone doesn't wake up to their thing, their own, let's say, purpose in life, they miss out on the boat, it may take, let's say, 100,000 lives just to get one purpose. So we don't have purposes. We have probabilities of fulfillment. Let's say on my last lifetime, I was an asshole. Hmm? So in this lifetime around, I'm going to give myself opportunities of compassion and understanding from my coalescing of review of last lifetime. Remember, after we're done, we go up and we spend some time. This is why your near-death experiencers say, my life flashed before my eyes. Oh, yes, most certainly. It literally happened just like that. You reviewed your entire life, and you take some time and coalesce and then group up your entities, your spiritual families that always co-create with you in one fashion or another, jump down back into the limitation, and learn the understanding of what you missed in that idea of coalescing last lifetime and continue on your journey. It's not one overall purpose. If it was one overall purpose, then we would have, let's say, skewed free will choice, would we not? Hmm? Limitation is the exploration of limitation and the possibilities within limitation of the blueprint that you set up. That blueprint has an 
enormous amount of probabilities. Many of you want to be artists, but you don't have the guts to go out there and make a living just doing your expressive art, that of Michelle. But most certainly, you can do that, and it's in you. That's one of the one, one, one of your purposes. That's all it is, baby. You can be a mother. Great, you're a mother. But right now, are you anything that you want to be? That's the choice. You don't have to be afraid to get it wrong. You follow your joy, and you're happy internally. How can you be unhappy when you follow your joy? You can't. Because you are remembering what you are, eternal love, unconditional love, joy, all the time, in the now, forever. You are remembering what it is to be existing in the state of being known as unconditional love. When you follow your heart, that is your purpose. You have filled your soul with purpose by choosing what you want. You're the individual free will choice, each and every one of you, most certainly. So take that idea, Michelle, and run with it. Run with it. Don't give up the ghost to the authority that is looming in the background of the past yesteryears. That is why you have chosen to come here, to understand that you are your own authority for experience. One idea. Hmm? Another idea. Another idea. Another idea. They're all purposes. When you woke up, that was one of your idea purposes. It's like, holy shit, I'm awake. Awesome. Now what do I get to do with it? Don't seek someone else's idea. Follow the heart. You cannot lie to yourself. You can't. It's a built-in discernment, entities. It's a built-in understanding of your just knowingness. You've seen it represented in the mirror. I don't know why I chose that, but it just felt right. I followed my heart, and it worked out, of course, because it's an individual mirror of a reality that you create. Don't forget, entities, that what you put out is what you get back, a fundamental law that cannot be overwritten, ignored hmm? forever. The mirror is perfect. So if I'm following my joy, then I dare say that you all will experience joy. Hmm? It is only the fear of the known. There is no fear of the unknown. So it is the only the fear of the known that tells you following your joy will lead you down a road of catastrophe or scariness, and you're not sure you want to take action until all those wonderful perceivable, remember that, perceivable in the future nows, of that it's going to be okay to take this little step towards my joy. Trust this, entities of ascension, <clears throat> most certainly. And you're rocking it, Michelle. I just want you to know that. Maybe one day you will choose to know that you're just that awesome. Mm. Most certainly. So, in this idea interaction, we have many messages for people that are choosing to bring forth their inquiries in their mind. Don't be afraid. And if there's anyone else that you want to talk to besides that of me, Big O, you most certainly may ask and we'll check in and see who's around. And there's a lot here right now, if you will. That would come through and give you your inquiry offering, most certainly. So, if there's any questions, let the room begin. If there's any questions out there in YouTube land or on Skype and such, like I think that's yeah, Skype and such, then you may uh, ask as well. Hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Carolina. She would like to go first. Thank you. Hello, Cephas. Greetings, Carolina. How are you, doll? How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Wonderful. Of course, I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, I have a question for my two brothers. The, uh, the first one is for my brother, Julian. Mm -hmm. um, he saw, he's been seeing some entities. Yes. Um, and he's been feeling a little bit sensitive about uh, feeling stuff. Um, I was wondering, the first question is, uh, um, if you could tell him who came to visit him. Mm -hmm. And the second one, he would like to know um, what is it that he's feeling, what, um, uh, what has he got, basically? What has he got? That's a large question. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's first idealize the idea of the interactions. He was interacting with different kinds of beings, but his mind and translation, remember, he has an experience that is full. Everyone experiences everything fully. It's what the mind is allowed 
that can perceive and conceive the idea of that full reality translated by the vibrations of the perceiving mind, which means the mind of acceptance in this idea, and that's how he remembers it. He remembers only a couple of interactions and then he doesn't remember them fully. Dan was right in the idea of the interaction. It was most certainly a reptilian, but there was also an insectoid known as a mantis as well in two different occasions, but he, well, let's say the same astral projection, the same goings on, but he put the two together in memory and they made it one, but it was truly two different events. One of a reptilian, that was the tree trunk body, and the hand as well. Yes. And the other idea was that of the mantis in the shape of a head. And that, let's say, the mantis is quite scary for humans because it's familiar, but it's familiar as a creature upon Earth that shouldn't be standing up, talking, and going, hey, what's up? So that's a little bit more scarier to humans, so they have a little tougher time coalescing that. Let's say seeing in gray is even is now more acceptable than seeing what you call a mantis. Mm -hmm. Reptilians are like 50-50. Kinda. Oh, I see. Do you have any, any messages for him? Yeah, keep rocking your reality. Don't okay. overthink it. Allow it to come. Take a ride. Give yourself more and more and more remembrance of each interaction you choose to go. What that means is you're becoming familiar. We all understand. All of you understand. Your first day on a new job, you're scared shitless. You're not sure. A week later, you're a lot more comfortable. And then a year, you're perfect at it. You own the place because hmm? you're becoming familiar with your new environment. Not saying it's going to take this much time, but we're just giving you a reference. So in that idea, what is truly happening is he's becoming more and more used to it. You must function within the reality matrix. Hmm? He is shifting his reality matrix out of the earth vibration environment, which you can relate to because you are experiencing. But when you go to a different frequency band, that relationship is unfamiliar and you have to get used to it. You are starting to remember. He is going to do the same thing over a series of nows to where his idea, his one of his potentials that he's following is to, let's say, go for little trips around the galaxies, travel in time upon the Earth timelines, have a little fun, hmm? truly. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And another one for my other brother, Julio. Um, Julio? He, they're both Julios? No. One is Julian. Julian. And, pardon me. <laughs> the other Your one parents is are comedians. I love it. <laughs> um, he's very interested in in getting like alien DNA and stuff and Why? he was wondering um, because he wants to uh, enhance his potential what's wrong with being a human let me let oh. me dwell on this hang on guys stop you guys don't even know what you are yet let's stop and step back and look at the big picture of humanity you have no idea what you are capable of with the DNA do you think the 12 species, there are seven in the idea of 12 out of the five. So anyways, so the mixing of DNAs, that's a human ability. The, disc the discounting of what you guys have capable within you is beyond measure. Your abilities of, let's say, hmm, we'll give you a taste, shape-shifting easily, teleporting in your physical body without, on your own, from one space-time now to another. That's a human ability. Hmm? You want to fill yourself with other alien DNA. You have alien DNA already because you all came from aliens and extraterrestrials in that idea. And that, that's a time because extraterrestrial means a human. Ter terrestrial. Terra, Earth, extra, outside. Hmm? So in that idea, that was a future. Now they came back to give you DNA in this now. Awesome. So here's how it works. When you are discovering yourself in your own joys and trusting your heart, you activate DNA. I want you to imagine a wave, okay? You've all seen a sound wave on some kind of machine or device, and you see when it's very low, it has a very low wave form. So now imagine, we've given this before, a wave running up and down your body. Okay. 
Now, increase the frequency of the wave. Doesn't the wave become shorter and taller? Yes. So now it's running through your body because you're raising your frequency at a higher rate, and that wave is running across DNA, activating DNA. You still, scientists still claim one-third junk DNA because they can't figure out what it's supposed to do. Well, it's going to activate upon everybody's understanding of themselves. There's no not activating it. You want to get an infusion of a reptilian, you have reptilian. Hmm? Pleiadian, you have Pleiadian. Hmm? That kind of idea. Anunnaki, you have Anunnaki. How about discovering what lies within you? Our frequency band, Entities of Ascension, is to focus on humanity in their own self. Because the only one that is limiting anything is you. Don't think that you are not the cause of your reality. If you give it up to someone else overbearing you, then you are giving up your free will to the choice of having them do that. But they're not really there. Why? Because you're creating them there. Through the knowledge of your experience as a probable reality, and you believe it, and therefore you get it. So in other words, when you are raising yourself up in humanity's ascension, we would like you to understand that you are the one that is distorting the frequencies about you. Those frequencies raised up, releasing limitation, activates more and more DNA. More and more DNA bring more and more probability of, let's say, what you call abilities to the forefront of your own conscious self. Hmm? It's not out of bounds. It is what you already are realizing through the journey of limitation that you are already that, hmm? that kind of idea. So understand, you can tell Julio that, yes, if he wants to get DNA infusion, then certainly he may, may go to the idea of to occur and do that. However, from our frequency band that we speak of, I want you to find out what you already are. Don't escape from humanity. Don't look at yourself as a being of less. You don't know how grand you are yet. You have abilities. Hmm. In the Esasani civilization, they are a fourth density being. They are limited more so than humanity is in third density. But you have not arrived there yet. They're journeying themselves, much like the Pleiadians and the Syrians. All of the species are journeying and evolving themselves. But humanity believes that since we are in this realm of third density, that maybe we need to get a jump and get up to them. Bullshit. Trump that. Hmm? You already are that grand. But you need to find out within you how. By following your heart. Simple. The formula is trust yourself, follow your joy, don't give a flying fuck what the world says about you. <laughs> they, are not your, they are not your judge. They are ones offering limitations within themselves. But when you choose your joy, you offer light. Do you not? Yes, you have to because you're love. And you offer the light and that gives them the awareness of themselves. Only somebody can relate you to the depth of their love for themselves. Remember that. And if they no longer choose to relate you with you, let them go. They, you're not obligated. In any relationship, let them go. Let them find themselves. You need to concentrate on you and keep your light beaming to draw others out of the darkness. I can't find my way out of the dark unless I have some kind of direction. Light. Friendly face. Compassionate heart. Hmm? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So, tell him, choose what you will. Yes. But also tell him, he has no idea as well as all of humanity truly in this space time now what you are truly capable of with the DNA that's already built in. This is brilliant. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Thank you. And um, I have a, a, a couple of questions for myself. Is that is that's okay? Yes. Why would it not be? Are um, you following your heart? Yeah. Booyah. <laughs> Um, the first question is that I've been having very vivid dreams about being in small spaceships with children. Uh, could you tell me anything about it? Well, let, let, let us play the game of, uh, let's say, guessing. But truly, it's intuition. What do you think the spaceships with children are? Uh, well, um, well, 
perfect meal, but uh, uh -huh. <laughs> what are what are they? Well, being with children, I, I don't know. Are you with the children? In the spaceship, yes. Are you playing with them? I'm looking after them. You're looking after them. Mm -hmm. You're, let's say, hmm. it's not truly a babysitter. And not quite a teacher in your terms. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Looking after them is an idea. It's a social interaction time with humanity that you are representing because your heart is that clean up there. It's undistorted. Do not, humanity, take the counter of clean and take it to dirty. Yeah. Undistorted, that's all. Now, so what kind of children are they? What do they look like? Trust I don't yourself. Know. I, I just feel the children and the spaceship is transparent so I can see basically the earth. Of course. Not 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 from the outside, but inside the earth, like an airplane. Uh, but it's transparent. It's a transparent craft. Hmm. Okay, I'm not concerned about that. I want you to dig into the idea of the children first. We'll get to the okay. spaceship. You're jumping. You're skimming over the idea of why. Why would I give myself looking after children? And that's all you did? You wouldn't want any? Yes, you want more. Feel your heart. What okay. is it about you and your interactions with those children? What are you doing? You're yeah. looking after them. Do you remember what they look like? No, no. Are they big or small? They're smaller. Ah, yeah. so you have an idea of what they look like then, don't you? <laughs> I just don't remember their faces. I, I don't, don't remember. Don't worry about the faces. Were they green? Were they blue? Were they white? Were they humanoid? Were they bipedal? Hmm? The, the the small beings, I just don't know if they're human or not. Well, they're hybrids. Yeah, okay. Uh, did you have the word hybrid in your mind? Mm, I, I just don't know the, who they are. I, I know you don't know. I'm asking you to follow your heart right now and not worry about getting things right or wrong because that's a judgment from humanity's limitation. Okay. I want you to follow your intuition, darling. Okay. So you know they're hybrid children. You know you were on the spacecraft. They they change shape. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now that's your role. Know. Do you feel like a let's say mother? Yes, yeah, something like that. Wonderful. Now you can go and play your imagination. Trust what comes out of this new reality of acceptance. Yeah. You were offered, and it was way over there on your reality. Through our interaction, you bring it closer and more plausible to you. That's your framework expanding. Now that that framework is acceptable, now you have that reality vibration that you gave yourself a dream of, and now, poof, it's opened up. All you have to do is walk in there and explore. Trust your imagination, because your imagination is creation. Yeah. Yes. Thank now, you. What else, darling? Uh, the second question is, I've, I've been hearing a very high pitch noise every now and again, and I was wondering if that's a sign of somebody coming to visit me. Well, let's say this. It's, uh, let's say, a phenomenon with all awake people. We all have tone in our ear. They go up and down. They go left and right and that kind of idea. And yeah. the idea of Ra, <clears throat> Ra was using, and we're talking the Ra of, uh, let's say, the law of one Ra at that space-time now. He used the idea of knowing it was a telltale clue of thoughts at the moment. This thought is positive. This is a, let's say, tipping scale, if you will. This is a yes, let's do this, and you would pitch up in the right ear. And then in the left is a, maybe not this is not, not your excitement. It would pitch up in the left ear. So left was no go, right was a go. That was one idea. Test it out for yourself to see if that's what it is. Or it's you tuning into, not Kashnima, and or, and or you tuning into different relationship frequencies. Listen, everything is like your, uh, <clears throat> yes, signal, a, a radio antenna. Okay. You're constantly retuning yourself as you follow your heart and raise your vibration. Because remember, entities, don't forget, everything is here and now. I'm not really over here from your perspective. I'm here and you're here right now. 
period. Okay. So look down, look around, I'm here now. That is all of reality. What is about you is the unknown. When you change your frequencies, you're literally tuning into the frequencies that are aligned with your frequency and then they tune in and that's the first telltale idea that you've shifted yourself into a frequency band and the only thing that's going to follow is new ideas, unknown, different things. Just pay attention to your nows. You're walking yeah. about, you see something and then the pitch triggers. Pay attention to what you just saw. Review that moment hmm? and see what lies within there for you to bring you your own expansion of limitation into the unknown. Certainly. Make sense? Thank you so much. Do you have any messages for me? Yeah, keep time? kicking ass. Pardon? Keep kicking ass. Yes. Okay. Thank you That's so it. much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> We'll see you later, though. Hello, okay. good to see you. Yeah, Sarah. Hi. Hey, Sarah? Yeah. Hey, how are your tears, darling? Oh, they've been coming out. Yes, they're flowing like hmm, Niagara Falls. <laughs> you are pouring them out. Feels good, though, doesn't it? It feels good to let them out, but it, it's ah, not easy. There's no buts. You have one, leave it alone. Okay, very good. Come on, it's just the now of experience. The but is you stopping putting the brakes on your choice of reality of experience to make sure it's correct and then justify why it's not correct through the past. All buts, everybody, comes from the logical standpoint of experience and you are comparing it to that understanding of the now. But that now was a different you that you were calling and drawing that experience up that you call the but. That was a different space-time you. That was a different evolved being. You are much more evolved since that. So trust the now and see where it goes. Explore that unknown. Certainly. Keep going, darling. Thank you. You're most welcome. Um, last night, I kept getting bombarded with the thought in my dreams that uh, Archangel Gabriel is trying to talk to me or has been talking to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to understand what's going on because I don't have a per dream per se of w what a conversation was, but it keeps coming at me. It just keeps repeating his name. Gabriel. Gabriel, yes. So does it have to be in dream state? Well, that's where it was. Well, what about now? Well, that's why I'm asking. So talk to Gabriel in your head right now. Go, hi, Gabriel. Did you get an answer? Yes. All right then. So start talking to Gabriel. And whatever lies within that, write down, record, however you want to remember it, if you choose even to remember it. And then you will understand now the messages from Gabriel that's giving you. You called upon the arcs. Oh, yes, you did. You found yourself in times of tears. Hmm? Your compassion for others that caused these tears in a lot of ways. And then within that, you found your own limitations, which caused more tears. But that's mm -hmm. okay. That's evolution. And you called upon the arcs because everybody has one way or another a core belief of the angels. Because it's built into the construct of the DNA human. Truly. So understand that you called upon and you were answered. The dreams, but you're looking for something bigger and tangible to make it real. You're waiting for something to say it's real, something, an idea, but you just did. It's not your imagination in the discounted humanities. Oh, just a big imagination. That's all they are. Hmm? Bullshit. Imagination is everything. So you just talked to Gabriel. Gabriel answered. Gabriel will never not answer because Gabriel is always there. In anybody's mind, if I'm thinking of Gabriel, right there. Is oh, there yes, a specific certainly. reason? why I called him per se though? You called the arcs. Called Gabriel the arcs. answered because Gabriel was most fitted for your understanding of your vibration. What you are needing love about. Every arc has an idea of different idea purposes that they've built into their abilities if you will over years and years and years of interactions with humanity. Michael does this. 
Melchior does that, Uriel does this, Raziel does that, Raphael does this, and so on and so on. Gabriel has this idea. Gabriel has immense compassion. Truly. Oh. Okay. Thank you for that. You're most welcome. Um, and one other thing. I keep falling into channeling during a conversation and I I, I was wondering who is the being of channeling because it never comes with a name. It's just it just comes out. Who does it feel like? So you're having a conversation in 3D and all of a sudden you just start to speak these words and you feel it's a different frequency speaking through you while you're channeling, that you're channeling. Yes. Perfect. So who do you feel it is? You see, I'm not sure. Is it my higher self? Bingo. Ain't nothing like following your heart. It's your higher self, darling. That's it. No okay. one's going to come in without an announcement nine times out of ten. Some people may pop in and go, hey. You know, that kind of idea. But it's all love, of course. But this is your higher self coming through and showing you what you are. Hmm? Okay. What you are. You, you, you. A channel. My higher self. Here's some words of wisdom. It's my basket of apples. Take a bite if you like. If not, give them to somebody else. Or leave them there. Doesn't matter. And you leave unconditionally. Okay, that's what I need it. No one comes in without an announcement unless there's the highest self. Thank you. Sure. That's there, uh, in, in, in any of the things, you've watched Roxy's videos before. I was syphious. I'm kind of a, like a gatekeeper. I was like, okay, we're going to have this guest today and this guest today, that kind of idea. And we always talk about it if there's someone coming in that, uh, let's say, before the channeling. It could be one minute before or it could be the day before on who is the probability of coming in. Okay. Trust yourself. Very good. Thank you so much. Much love. You're welcome, and much love to you, sir. Anybody else? Okay, Cher, are you ready, or did you want to wait? Hmm. Yes, I'm ready. How are you, Sipius? Cher, wonderful. How are you, doll? I am very wonderful. Looking good. Ought to be in Hollywood. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You look good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I want to ask, um, someone brought to my attention something that's called the 144,000 group, something that has to do with the Elohim and Angel, uh, not Angel, uh, Elijah the Prophet. Do you yes. know that idea? The 144,000 is a, let's say, number that's used quite a bit for different ideas. Truly different timelines have merged into an idea and remembrance of this timeline has brought forth the idea of Elijah. Hmm? Bashar says you have 144,000 oversouls at one time creating the idea. More 300,000 at another time. Hmm? That was a different space time. Co-created Earth. Remember, you guys are collapsing timelines and merging into two Earths. Hmm. So, in that idea, 144,000 oversouls creating Earth in every entity in it. Hmm? So, of course, you have a lot of yous right around you. They're just different versions of yourself. And don't think for one second that you stop being you. You're always you. Remember that. So, in that idea, that's the 144,000. And what was the species that you said was besides Elijah? The Elohim. The Elohim, yes, mm, the beginners, we like them. And mm -hmm. that was an idea given. Mm. They were the beginners of the universe? No, my good goodness, no. <laughs> your, your father, if you want to put it in that terms, your creator, which is you and me as one, is the beginning of the universe in your aspects of time. But it's truly just now. You get to go back and peek at it, but it was in the now that it's available. Mm. So in that idea, yeah, Jesse, on that idea, that hang on, stand by. Well, for my understanding, I had a different understanding about it. That it's well, of course you did. <laughs> for my understanding, from what I saw, it was about uh, beings that come to Earth in order to help raising the vibration, and it has to do something with the Elohim and Elijah, and. After uh, I was familiar with that idea, I saw some 
syncretities with that idea. All of a sudden, people started to post uh, things about yes. it. Yes. So I thought so someone... You saw that. Uh, stop. You saw synchronicities about it. Yeah. You. Yeah. Created it for you. They didn't exist until you created. Don't think they were just out there. Hmm. Okay. So what is the purpose of it? Because the idea from this standpoint, the 144 is very, and let's say, linear, exclusive to you and a few that have chosen that idea. Mm. Don't think for one second. It's the way because that vibration lies within you. It is not the telltale golden nugget of the game. There is no golden nugget of the game. None. It is all individual creating what they choose, the ultimate reality, whatever you believe you conceive, period. So in that idea, you gave your synchronicity because in that construct lies revelation for you. Make sense? Okay. Yes. But the 144 is a blanket idea in some aspects to a lot of reference points throughout your historical timeline. It was a breadcrumb that we left, hmm, that you truly left in your ideas to make it memorable throughout the collective and its transcendence of time. Truly. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. What else? No, just wanted to know also, um, I was told before that I have um, some connection to members of Hukulu. I thought maybe they were not specific about it. They only told me that it was something related to the Bible time and stuff like that. And Co-creation with entities, yes. Remember, there's no time. Yeah. Okay, so I'm an oversoul. Let's 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 play this a little bit so we can get some clarity. I'm an oversoul. Mm, okay, just reference point. I take a fractal of myself and I put it in the 1800s, and I take a fractal of myself and I put it in the year 3000, and I take another fractal of myself and I put it at the you know say 2000 BC. Mm -hmm. But I'm an oversoul with all of myself that we interact along these mingling timelines. So. Kukulo, in that idea, are part of your oversoul. There's parts of Hukulo members that are your buddies, your friends, your spiritual through the times. One of those times that you guys co-created, much like you're co-creating now, was in biblical times. You deem it biblical times, but they were truly just times. It's only biblical because that's the idea of when it came about. So you reference that. Make sense? I see. So your friends then, your friends now, your friends now, and your friends now, and your friends way back then, and you're playing all the timelines. It's endless what you guys are truly doing. You don't have one life after another in time. You have billions of lives in, in all different timelines, all around going on right now. Hmm. Make sense? Yeah. So your relationship to the ones that you know that are your friends, spiritual family, oversoul, let's say soulmates in that term, are the ones that you know in your mind. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. I like Anything that. else? Um, not in the moment. Pretty much answer what I was uh, thinking about. Thank you. You're most welcome. Okay, Michelle, are you ready? Hi, Sophia. What a glorious hey, there she is. opening. <laughs> Thank you. Um, actually, I had this really interesting experience yesterday. Um, I was watching a video on Kalask, a draconian. Mm -hmm. um, and within the first couple of minutes, I burst into tears and I cried through like half of it. Beautiful. And I have no idea. Okay, I can. I would try to intellectualize why. Yes, but how about using intuition? It's scary to trust yourself, isn't it? Well, here my intuition was first is that. Um, they're scary sounding. No, um, that's, that's not that's not <laughs> intuition. And that I had had a previous really horrible interaction with them. All right, stop, stop, put on the brakes. That scariness is not intuition. 
Intuition is birth from love. Scariness is representation from the ego of mind. Period. Mm -hmm. So don't discount your – right now what you're doing is saying my intuition is shit because it's scary. That's your definition that you just did, which no longer allows you to validate your own intuition because you use that term. Michelle, that was your intellect that yes, said it was that's what I'm saying. Nah, but you said intuition. Watch okay. your words because those words are vibrations. They're not just words, guys. These words are not just words. They're vibration, vibration that has intention, that has a built-in construct that connects with you and becomes part of yourself. That's why we always say, pay attention in the now. There's so much there. Keep going. Okay, so my intuition, I, I had two intuitions. One was I had had a previous life interaction, and it was um, scary. scary for me, yes. Mm -hmm. um, the other was it reminded me of my son's kind of personality <laughs> when he was a, a young child <laughs> or growing up because he has draconian in him. Um, and, and so I didn't know if I could get some clarity on that. Well, sure. And we're going to stick with you on this. Hmm? Okay. This is all about you today. Oh, yes. I love it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's scary. Yes, we understand. So first off, the interaction hmm, in the other life was not another life. It was this life. Hmm. You mean right now this life? Right now this life. The Michelle you see in the mirror every day. Hi. Wow. But it okay. wasn't scary. But your mm -hmm. mind is only allowing it to be scary because that's what you believe the reptilians to believe be. Mm -hmm. All you have to do, entities, it's out there. The research of all the abductees through the 60s, 70s, and 80s magically have changed their stories from a scary to a loving interaction. Mm -hmm. The memory was what they translated Mm -hmm. That's what you translated that the Drax should be because I learned that the Drax are bad, so therefore they must have been. So the, your mind, your acceptable framework, listen, you have an interaction. It comes through to what you call your receiving mind, your physical brain, okay? Then it's filtered through your perceiving mind of what you accept as reality, and it is that interaction with the reptilians coming through the perceiving mind. The perceiving mind of ego says, oh, the reptilians are this, this, this. It must be this, and that's the memory you gave yourself. But truly, it was a loving interaction. Was that with you and your son? Hmm? Oh. Playing with the idea of the self that your son is, looking at the self of your son, three entities standing about, your son, your other self son, and you with the Drox. And you had some hosts there as well. It was a meeting of the self, truly. Oh, my God. The idea so... of your son choosing that. That is what so beautiful. Well, of course it's beautiful. Where is it not beautiful in reality unless you choose it not to be? Wow. Bingo. Oh, that's gorgeous. Um. The other question I'm curious about is um, the day before or the couple days before I watched that, I had been meditating and just letting tears were just coming, 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 coming. And I could not decide, like I don't need to decide necessarily, but I forget sometimes I'm... And I think I'm an empath. <laughs> um, and sometimes I'm crying tears, and I think they're mine, and they're not. And um, Well, just, listen, they are yours. I mean, wait, I know wait, they're my wait, tears. Wait, 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 stand by. Okay. They are yours. But you're feeling the love of another, the fear of another, the compassion for another, which is their tears that you are tearing with them in a lot of cases. Mm hmm Make sense? So they yeah. are your tears because, guys, we're one. Right. We're one. Get it through your head if you choose that we're one in different perspectives. 
So we share everything forever. There's no privacy. You just keep <laughs> things private. But we don't judge because we're love watching experience in the individual choice of each experiencer of the free will individual that you all are. So when you feel your meditation connecting to these other ideas that are coming through and giving yourself a term of empath, well, sure, we're all empaths, all of us. Hmm? Um. And you've connected with this idea of vibration, which brought tears, because what are you doing? You're remembering. You're remembering what it's like to be home. And there's no greater joy than of Sarah coalesce this as well remembering the vibration of what you are beautiful it takes pass through compassion through logic through empathy through suffering but then you always find it somewhere within you and that brings up the remembrance and you burst into ever loving tears most certainly which are beautiful I love my tears. Thank you so much, Osipia. So much love to you. Much love to you, darling. Hello, Osipia. Greetings. We have a question from a member who is unable to join today but is watching. I'm able to join. Oh, okay. We'll go ahead then. Hey, big out. It's Rainbow Momentum. What up? Um, the question is... Um, I'm feeling all the energies now, the new energies coming through. I've been doing everything you say, and in like other channels like Nanda and Jesus. Um, yes. And it, it's very, it feels like ecstasy. But I'm like, I want to move, but is it something you sit and meditate with, or do I just move and flow with it? Move and flow with it, or meditate with it. What do you feel? Uh, I feel like what you said both. It just depends on the moment. Bingo. Um, and yeah, like I said, I won the lottery three times in a row. Three yes. in a row. Uh, I'm still waiting to see if I won the jackpot from my granddad in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, but I also took that made me realize like my relationship to abundance in the sense of finance. Yes. Um, what did you get out of that? It's easy I to win these little ones, but to win the big one, oh shit. Yeah, you I, created I crave the little it. ones. Why? It's only your mind of comparison says, okay, if I win a hundred dollars, I can do that. I can accept that, but I can't win a hundred million dollars because that's a little tougher. But that's yeah, only but I, comparing. I want the hundred. I know I can have the hundred million. Sure. I know I can do if you know it, then you can have it. Yeah, and I'll have it. I'll have it. And then, and then once I say it, this is like, but can I? It's yeah, about, there you go. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. you're exposing limitations to yourself. Yeah, How yeah. excellent. Thank you. Makes sense. And it, and that that little that little, I'd say high insight, that comes afterwards. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to love it, but a part of me is like, because okay. of you, I can't get it. Ah, yes, yeah. wonderful. So that's you arguing with yourself. Mm. Yep, and that's fine. So what you do is love it, like you said. Say ah, another limitation within me. Yeah. So don't worry, you're not going to cause me not to win it. Okay. Now, always reference the idea of Bashar. Yep. If you have something perceivable in your reality and it doesn't come in that moment, then know there's a higher expectation that is waiting for you. You okay. can't see that expectation because you can't fathom it. It's an expectancy, truly. So understand that we co-create many, many things to benefit the whole of that bubble of time moment. Mm -hmm. So the guy that's walking across the street hmm, from you and you glance and see the color red, is he chose the color red so you can see the color red and be there at that time for you to remember something about color red which takes you down this reality. Without that interaction, you're on a different timeline. Make sense? Yes. So in that idea, you are all co-creating a moment, and if that idea doesn't come that you win the lottery in this space time now, fuck, then fear one, it's my own self. No. Say, oh, I got you. I love you. And if it's not, it's a different moment. But you have everything you need. You don't need money to define you, certainly. No. And when you ha understand that relationship between that and the monetary needs, which is a big kick in the ass for humanity, we understand then you understand the relationship with yourself that you are creating all the abundance in your life anyway. 
just because it doesn't come in the one focused way of money doesn't mean you don't have it, but you do. So when you get that limitation within you and you exposed it to yourself, what you did, and it's arguing with you, which it was, you love it and say, yes, okay. let's see where this goes. I trust me and shift your focus. Shift it. Don't feed it anymore. Don't try to make it logical in your mind because that's what usually humanity does. Well, what about this? What about this? And you sit there and argue yourself until your head gets very distorted. It's very rubby. Frustration. Your Make sense? Shift it. Yeah. Don't feed it anymore. Don't try to Who's make that? it logical Mikiko. in your mind. That's what usually humanity does. Makiko? Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, because... You were saying about red. I had a dream where I, I think I channeled something and it said, you need to get yourself a red pet. That's mm. another synchronicity there. Um, Sync. I had a, I had I'm getting so many synchronicities, but it's like, it's not what I have planned. It just happens. And that's of course. Really what's annoying. That's annoying, though, because I'm like... No, it's not annoying, because you can't plan. Well, you can. That's the thing. Planning is limitation. <laughs> oh, God. That's the thing, because I'm like, if I'm this great being, I should be able to steer myself, but it's doesn't it's not that. It's ah, like, trust the big God. The big God's okay. laid it all out. That's you up here. The little God is on for the ride. Why am so I all your pride, Know <laughs> that you can follow the joys of synchronicities to take you down a path that is unconceivable to you, that lies happiness, that your imagination mind that you choose from your experience of the past, which becomes planning cannot conceive. Okay, okay. Yes. I Trust. You Thank you very much. You don't have to think. Mm. That's the thing. I don't think anymore. I don't have questions anymore. I just wait for the experience to unfold. Thank you. Booyah. Is that all, Okay. Hello, Osifius. We have a question from Maja Magenta Octary. Is unable to join the group, but would like to say hello. Greetings. She would like to ask about this various light languages that are coming through her. That's is it. there it's any the specific form. meaning behind this? Thank you. Well, of course. The specific meaning is the mind looking for something tangible that is going to serve a purpose. Let that unfold, entity. The light languages are everybody getting used to the light languages. Hmm? Many of you speak the languages. Your translations are not quite there yet. There's always a translation in your mind somewhere, though, but use whether you want to trust it or tune into it. But these light languages that a lot of people are getting, there's, let's say, many that speak Arcturian, Parisian, Iona, Aitona, hmm? and, of course, the well-knowns around the universe that you all are familiar with. There's 323 currently that light language is out there. The purpose of it, down the road, will you guys be able to speak the languages to the ones that interact with you? Not you specifically in most cases, but what you are doing it is you are putting it into the DNA of a human to understand these languages naturally. So you are bringing them through yourself because you are, in one way or another, related to that language, whether it's a hmm, another space-time now of co-creation or you're actually that species in a fractal self, period. Now, when you get that language and you're turning it into, use it in any way you can, when you want to, how you want to. And then if the translations, you choosing it, are there, translate them. See what they're saying to you. See what you're saying to you, truly, in that aspect. And then what's going to happen is more and more interactions with alien species happen in astral idea, hmm, as well as, let's say, zipping away in the, hmm, not quite an abduction in your terms. You're not actually going on to a physical spaceship, but what you are is taking the conscious self and recreating yourself in that frequency band as an experiencer, as a human being, but it's going to be a liquid human being, if you will, and you are speaking the languages to them to bring back down to this self, which inhibits it, not rather inhibits it, incorporates it rather into what you call your body 
density. That density becomes the collective one and people can speak these languages. So when more and more in your future nows interactions with these other species start to happen over the time, there will be many that already speak their language. Make sense? I hope so. And thank oh, you very much. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. And hope much love. Eyes out. Much love, Ms. Sophia. All right. Makiko is here and would like to ask a question. Rock and roll. Hi, Yosephilas. This is Makiko. Thank you for taking this question. Most certainly. Um, I, re I was recently told that um, I need to gain physical muscle. Mm. I'll be able to continue this co-creation. Otherwise, the experience will turn negative. I'd just like to understand a little bit more the mechanics. <laughs> Stand by. Okay. It's okay. So, this idea, telling, offering, was you choosing that reality to give you a message. Are you physically fit right now? <laughs> um, not like before, no. Well, I'm not worried about before. Let's not compare. Let's talk about the now, though. How do you feel right now? Now, I feel great. Are you eating enough? I think I eat so much more than before. Perfect. How do you feel? Um, I think I could feel do better on a diet, though. Why? Uh, I, if if I feel good now, and yeah. I love what I'm eating, then what is a diet going to do for me? Oh, I know. It's going to give me a perceived idea on someone else's reality on what this diet should do, which limits you. You guys are your own dietitians, your own nutritions, nutritionists. All you have to do is follow your heart. If you feel good right now, then that's it. If something that you take in or over a few things of having a diet and you start to feel like shit, then you know that that diet's not for you. But that's someone else's idea. I know that you have your own idea of yourself inside of you. I know that. It's whether you want to choose that or not. So the entity, the idea of that co-creation telling you that you're going to go into a negative vibration is offering you your own limitation. They're servicing you by saying, Dong, how do you feel about yourself? Don't shift into this diet idea because of someone else's perceivable idea of acceptance. If you are on this diet, then you will be this. Well, that's your reality. I'm my own. And my heart tells me to do what I'm choosing right now because I feel freaking great. Why do you want to feel not better? Why do you need to shift out of you feel great? That's why we ask first, in the now, who cares about the past, do you feel great? You said yes, and you do. Your vibration is most enlightening. So that vibration tells me that you are loving yourself and choosing what you want for the physical idea of body to exist in that built-in programming. Hmm? And you're feeding it what you want. Hmm? That's why you, know, you can be a, veg a vegan or a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. But you can also eat meat if your body is saying that I need this as well. If you don't, that's a limitation for the body needs and it will find a different way or whatever, if at all. But we're all moving out of that into another body idea many years from now. So hmm. let's ask you this. Do you want to now diet? How do you view a diet of someone else's idea? I really don't care other people's idea at all. Okay. So yeah. why do you need a diet? When he told me my entire ah, wait a minute. When he told me, but I just heard from your mouth, I don't care about other people's idea. Well, you do because we're talking about it. Ah. Uh, huh. Ta-da. Yeah, ta-da. That's true. But he's not regular he. I think he's a, one of the few people I respect. I guess maybe that's what it is. Yes, and that's okay. You're allowed to have a definition of respect for others and understanding, but you do not only need, always need to accept blindly what they say. I know that your God equal to me and him and anyone else you can imagine. I know you're that. I do. So you you looking up is an offering to you to accept or not. It is not them telling you, and you must, because they are great, and you respect. 
You're giving yourself opportunity to start choosing for yourself. And don't worry, you can't offend. Offend is your own perception of what their reaction is because you're fearing I might offend. So you put out that vibration and you get that version of the person. Simple. No no Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Nice eye. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you're convincing as well. <laughs> All right. I'm done. <laughs> Thank okay. you. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. All right, we have a question from a member who's unable to join today. Name is Liney. Mm -hmm. And she's asking if you know what the good news was I heard yesterday when she was sleeping because she can't remember what it was. Hmm. Let's just say this will spark her memory and let her unfold it. Cat. Okay. And now she will remember. That's all it is. One little spark, poof. Many of you have experienced talking in a conversation. Holy shit, I just remember my dream because that conversation was your triggering point to remember that dream. One word, one idea, one color, one vibration brings in that idea. Cat for that of lining. Next. Wonderful. Okay. Raw, do you have a question today? Who is it? He's joining us. Did you say my name? I didn't hear it. Uh, no. Ra? Uh, I think that's how you say it. Hello? Am I, it's my turn? Yes, it is. Okay, thank you. Um, hello? I Great. recently um, I recently channeled a group of uh, more, I guess you could say, fundamentalist um, reptilians from the Draconian Empire who were they were very much still traditional um, that I hadn't channeled before called more cool and they felt very intense uh, I've never had a channeling experience like this before where I actually had physical sensations after the channeling when I came back where I couldn't move my hands for about 20 minutes uh, and it was very painful like someone's clenching my uh, my hands very very uh, hard and also my internal organs were hurting and some, but I tried to walk over to my bed after the channeling uh, I couldn't walk properly and uh, my whole back was feeling like someone had poured gasoline over me and set me on fire. Ouch. And 20, 20 minutes was pretty painful and uh, also the intense desire to kill myself for no reason. And after 20 minutes it was completely gone. I felt normal again. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, any suggestions what I could do in future challenges when I bring them through without uh, this experience and uh, who the fuck are those people anyway? Hmm. Well, they are most certainly reptilians, and you hit it on the head of their, their let's say, idea faction of the dr 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 their Drax, not Monians, Draconians, yes, they're Draconians. There's also a reptilian called Dracmonians as well. So anyways, in that idea, they did, and let's say, you co-created the channeling with them. Your experience was their energy, once again, translated by your understanding of their energy, birthing itself in your physical body in many ways of pain. Okay? The clenching. All you had to do, hang on now, listen closely. All you had to do is say, I'm done with this. And then would have been done. But after you experienced enough, then you said internally, okay, I don't want this to happen anymore, and then poof, it went away immediately 20 minutes later. But you got to experience their vibration. Their vibration is translated once again by your understanding of their vibration and you understood it in such a high tense frequency, it came through into the physical body as something painful. But truly, it's not. Next time around, you channel them. Just say, hey guys, can you lower it a little bit? And that's it. And they will. You have also become relatable to them, so you will be more, let's say, in line, aligned, is better, right? Yeah aligned with their frequency because you've already experienced it and then the next time it will be more comfortable and you won't have the residual after effects after they're departing. Make sense? 
makes perfect sense. Uh, I already tried that several times. It worked out a lot better the first time, and uh, I'll continue moving that past them. Thanks for the info. Booga. All right, darling. That's it. What else? Thank you, Sophia's. We have another question from the chat from That's Impossible. Love that name. The question is... Oh, Her name is Rich Ann? That's Impossible. That's, that's Impossible. The, that's mm. the name, yeah. So, she says, Why did I get sick January 5th through 7th? I can't get sick. Personal growth and upgrades? Question mark. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. absolutely what it is. You give yourself flus, seasons, take yourself out of the environment you don't need to co-create with in different seasons of your own awakening, we call them. So you give yourself colds and flus, and a lot of work is being done in your body. A lot of crap's going out, being sweated out, being thrown up out, if you could get that idea. It's representation, truly. It's not necessarily what you are actually expelling. It's the representation of it leading your body that takes this fractal mind and says, yes, I'm cleansing, and that kind of idea. Some people need, let's say, more frequency, different ideas of cleansing. Some people need less. Don't compare yourself to it. We're all on a different part of the same circle. Hmm? So in that idea. So this idea was one of those typical, if you will, cleansing and also awakening different DNA within. And this was the way you chose to do it in that space time now, which is most beneficial. But it was a short one. It wasn't extended one week. Mm. Truly, a lot of light workers are not getting sick anymore. And they're not, let's say, if they do in that idea, get sick or colds or flus, it is in a shortened amount of time. Booyah. Good, Val? Yes, wonderful. All right. And now we have Dan that would like to ask a question, please. Greetings, Osiphius. What's up, Dan? How are you, doll? I'm all right. First, I have a question from the other Roxy, mm. the Roxy in Atlanta. It seems her uh, daughter. Mm -hmm. Yes, it seems her daughter Joy and husband Vinny have just lost their house, and mm -hmm. and Roxy's wanting to know uh, what do you see for them? Where will they live? What will they do? Will they be okay? Basically, like a a uh, timeline kind of check. Are they going to be all right? Well, of course they're going to be okay. Don't think for one second, Roxy, that they did not set up that for themselves as a probable timeline. But the future looks, let's say, dim. Mm -hmm. They don't know what they're going to do because they're using their fractalized limitation minds on how am I going to save myself or help myself, and they're putting plans into place. Mm -hmm. That's their idea. Of course they're going to be fine. We're not here to fuck each other over or ourselves, okay? So your idea, <clears throat> Roxy, is to see them as being okay, feel them as being okay. Do not fear for them because then you only feed the fear. Talk to them, give them love, give them encouragement. You are the one that's going to co-create to tell them everything is going to be okay because it is. And they feel that. Then their vibration sends the mirror more love and they get that probable timeline that pulls them away from the current, freaking, the current situation they're in now. They don't want to be where they're at anymore. They're going to shift to something different and better, most certainly. This was their way of getting out of their own set ways. So they upset themselves. And now you, with support, love, hmm, give them that reality frequency. And they choose and find their way out of this situation in their terms. That's it, Dan. Awesome. Thank you. Now, I have a question. It might be a multiple-part question. I'm not sure. How exciting. When we were at Jenny's yes, and that wonderful channeling there, mm. you said something about me that was very impressive that got me thinking a lot of interesting things. Mm. You mentioned that I am a God that is unfolding and that everybody gets to experience that. Yes. And then shortly after that, 
the Reiki healing and everything expanded like exponentially. Went like, very, very off the scale, unexpected. It, wasn't it, it quite it, large? Well, I, I took the Fendorian infusion at that time, and it activated my Kundalini. And every time I open my Kundalini, it magnifies everything. I mean, everything. It's just huge what it does. But uh, I'm wondering your perspective on, on just that expansion, just that right there, and, and how things are going. What is, is it well, let's really see. as big as they all say it is? Because it, it, to me, I mean, I know it's huge, but does it really turn into this really great big huge thing they say it is? What, the idea of galactic Reiki? Yeah, the whole thing, yeah. Yes, it turns into a very large thing. You're part of that. Do you believe in it? You see it. You've experienced it. So I do dare say you believe in it, yes? Yeah, but ah, yeah, it, that, it, it's not a limitation on, on of, that part. Yeah, that's not the butt part. The butt part is it's, it, it really, really gets so super huge. So what? Yeah, it's just really neat. It's awesome. Yeah. And it's really fun to really see what you're capable of doing. Yeah, that. That too. It, it's super crazy. Yeah. <laughs> really. It's and yes, a, it's real. Yes, it'll get that large. You'll have different entities come through, find their interest, and that interest, okay, different entities go, yes, that's nice, but it's not for me. See you later. And this, oh, my gosh, it's singing to my heart. I love it. When Then you expand and co-create with that entity and then another and another, and it becomes whatever it's going to be, how big it's going to be, how big you allow it to be truly. Yeah, that. It's just nice to hear somebody else say it. That's what I was really, that was the butt that I was looking for. All right. We are here to reinforce you, and you most certainly reinforce me. So choose for that love, and it will be given, most certainly. Awesomeness. Awesomeness. Thank you. Thank you so much, Josephus. That helps a lot. You're welcome. All right. Valerie, back to you. All right. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Josephus. Mm -hmm. And we have, and we have question another question from Carolyn. Hello, right. Cepheus. Hello, darling. It's me again. Yes, it is. Um, I, I just wanted to ask you um, um, another thing. Um, where I am in Colombia, um, in my dad's flat, they think there might be a, a kind of negative energy around that is not letting people progress. I was wondering if you could tell me anything about that. It's okay. They're choosing it. To not let people progress is a statement of limitation for those entities who are staying saying that. One. Two, yes, there is an entity. We, okay. You have ghosts. These are ghosts that don't realize what they are truly in a lot of terms. Yeah. A lot of, let's say, moments. They realize that they're not the body yet. They haven't realized that they're not the body yet. Right. Okay? When they realize, as soon as you realize upon your departure mm -hmm. of death, you realize that, shit, I'm not in my body anymore, poof, you're gone. You go to your next idea stage. Some of them won't see that they're not dead. So they continue in this frequency as the idea of what you call right at the edge of a reality. Mm -hmm. Right there on the very, very edge of the frequency in between, if you will, but it's not truly in between because it's its place of its own. Okay, so on that idea, there is an entity that has, let's say, died in that area who chooses to hang around in that area. And by the way, you're not going to find a whole lot of people at cemeteries, just to let you know. Right. Uh, ghosts. So, anyways, because then they'll read it and poof, they're gone. <laughs> so that entity is, hmm, let's say, lost, if you want to say. It hasn't accepted its own death in that fashion. And its vibration is noticed by the frequency of the household area. Hmm? Truly, the right. Southern Americas are very in tune with the spiritual realm, more so because it's built into the DNA. Culture is an acceptable reality. Therefore, it's at play more and more. So as the frequency of humanity raises, these ideas become more aware to even the ones who never believed it before. So in that idea, if you choose, your father truly can do it as well. Okay. 
Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. Call him. Clear him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Call him. His name is Carlos. Clear him. Um, Tell him he's not the body. Go on home, baby. It's okay. We love you. Okay. Let the words come to you. Yes. Okay. So he, um, just tell him to nicely go then. <laughs> not nicely. Okay. You don't have to say nicely go. No, no. Take okay. it from this thing. Say, hey, you know, can you get out of here? We love you, but you're bug bugging us? No. I want you okay. to be compassionate. I want really? you to be love. I want you to be an ascender, which you are. And here's what you do. Is you call the idea of Carlos and say, Carlos, come here. Carlos, I know you're here. I know you can hear me. And offer your love. You have departed. You have crossed over. You are not realizing that you have passed on. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're here to okay. help you continue your journey. Look about you. Come and touch my hand. You pass through, don't you? Please move the chair. It takes so much effort to move the chair. You're almost drained for a day afterwards after you do the slightest idea. Okay. It's very difficult for you to understand because you've passed over. It's okay to go home. There is nothing but light and love. And use the terms God with this one because he yes. died in the idea of the idea of Jesus God. Okay. Jesus is here with you. God is waiting for you to come home. Your name has been written in the books. The pearly gates are open for you. Go home. It's okay. I will guide you. I will take you there. Brilliant. And you let Thank this you so much. go home. Yes. Make sense? Thank you. Thank you. Um, and just a little thing before I go. Um, I was wondering if you knew um, a little bit about my two um, daughters, hybrid daughters. I would like to know a little bit about them. Well, they're cute. Mm -hmm. That's good. Start. <laughs> Blonde, blue-eyed, very, very humanoid. They're going to be what you call participants on walking around on Earth, much like there are aliens, extraterrestrials. We'll call them extraterrestrials because they are more extraterrestrial than aliens that walk among you. And if you pay attention to your nows, entities of ascension, you will come across one in that idea of synchronistic moment, if that is in your reality, and you will know that there's something a little bit different about this one. Thank and you. And that's what they are going to be. They are, let's say, blonde. And growing up, they wear blue outfits right now. But they will come and find themselves upon Earth, experiencing, understanding, co-creating with that of humanity. They serve a great purpose. Oh, so yes, that purpose is what? Their experience for themselves. One, two. And they also get humans used to the vibration of an extraterrestrial, unbeknownst to the conscious self-human walking around with them, having tea with them, or just saying hi. Make sense? Thank you. I'd love them to come to me. I'd love to keep in contact with them. They are there in you already. Talk okay. to them. Do you know yes. their names? Yes. Okay. Kali and Alaha. Yeah. How old are they? Do you know their ages? The uh, well, I don't know how fast they grow, but not don't long ago. Don't worry about that. Were, <laughs> not long ago, they were two years old. Mm -hmm. They're seven and five right now. Oh, thank you. Trust thank the you moment. So They're two yes. different ages. One's seven, yes. one's five. Thank you. Thank you so much. Which one's older? I, I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> I think the Allah, Allah has older. She's younger. Oh, she's younger, okay. Which one you said first? Kali. Thank you. Thank That's you. The Thank you so much. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Beautiful. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Hello, Sophia's. Who's this? Tasha. Well, if it is Tasha. Hello. Darling. How have you been? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm a super duper paratrooper. Thanks for asking. Awesome. I, just like I have a few questions for you, if you don't mind. Of course not. Does Aura Donna have any messages for me at this very moment? Very odd. We're not going to tune in to find out. Brown drapery. 
Brown drapery. Brown drapery. That's it. You guys have a fun little idea. We have a very humorous relationship. Very, very much so. <laughs> fun relationship. Brown drapery. You'll understand in the, well, let's say, today, tomorrow, next next two or three nows. Okay. And then also, the I heard someone else talking about frequency. Mm -hmm. I've heard um, my, my hybrid children giggling and stuff like that, but... Recently, I've been hearing a low vibrational frequency, and I'm not sure what that was. I get a lot of ringing in my ears. I know that's, you know, you know beings trying to communicate with me. Different but, ideas, truly. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I've never heard of the lower vibrational, like, frequency before like yes. that. And don't think it's a lower idea, as in high, low, good, bad. Right. Paradox. Right. It is a tone Okay. Mm -hmm. That tone is, what do you feel it is? Any idea? It's a distant idea, so we're just asking. Because it's so new, um, I, I, I don't want to judge it. Um, okay. I, don't, I don't believe that I'm being bombarded by... No, 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 no. We know that. We know that. No, no. We know you don't think it's any negative yeah. energy at all. I want to say is, I want to say maybe it's a being that I haven't connected with yet, and it's their way. Well, of it is a being, and you've most certainly been connected. It's called Gaia, and it's the tone of Earth. Oh, beautiful. Okay. You've awesome. become more connected with that tone. Hmm? I've been that? connecting with her a lot more too, so that okay. makes sense. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. We appreciate your question. We appreciate your answer, Osephius. Johannes, would you like to go next? I can go, yes, please. Hey. I just, wanna, Johannes. I just wanna play with a thought, I think. Okay. So there is there is no time. Mm -hmm. So there is no now. Mm -hmm. There's only now in your perspective. Uh, again? So truly, if there's only now, there is no now. You've only defined it as the now for clarity, humanity. Thank truly. You. Thank you. I just wanted, I just wanted to us confirm that together here as a group that Bingo. it is, it is what you want it to be. Yes. And time does exist in that fashion. We create the reality of time as an experience. But truly, it's all now from our perspective. Hmm? We'll equate this one more time. We've done this before, but we'll give you an idea of what it is to be in space-time and time-space. Space-time where you're in now, you have lots of space and you are in time. In time, passing through time by moving within the space available around you. When you get up here, we have space the way you see time. We can go to any space and view that time from a different perspective. It's always now. Truly. Chew on that for a while. That'll be fun. Make sense? That's, that's, just, <laughs> that's just what I wanted to hear. Um, yes. You wrote it. I just said it. Hmm. <laughs> um, Ma Martina, she, a she asked me also if I can ask if there's any uh, messages for her. Who is and it? Martina. It's the one. It's the woman I live with. Hmm. Call it girlfriend, whatever. <laughs> a co-creator, lover. How beautiful. <laughs> mm. We feel in your love. Excellent. Truly, no messages, truly. She's very content in her higher self idea. There will be challenges coming up, but nothing that she already doesn't understand or know. But those yeah. challenges are not challenges as degradation. They are limitation exposure, truly. And with both of you being that loving, you're going to talk about it openly as a relationship should be. 
which is beautiful about relationship because a lot of relationships hide things from the each other's let's say significant other in fear that it's going to fuck up the relationship which fucks up the relationship because you're vibrating is frequency differing and then you vibrate out of each other's reality because of resistance but you guys are open not fearing what you're talking about exposing the love your vulnerability to the other you in the idea of your lover how beautiful You'll handle it, but no specific message, truly. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I had a meditation uh, yesterday, I think, or two days ago, I don't know, and it was this connection that came up, and Michelle's name came Michelle from Hukula here. What <laughs> connection do I and, and Michelle have? Over some. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear. Over soul? Yeah. So. There's one connection. Would you like more? Yeah, just expand as much as you can. Twice, let's say you've been the husband. Mm -hmm. Three times you've been the wife. One time you've been the child. One time you were the arch enemy, arch enemy, killed her. She slain you one time in an epic Roman battle. And now, your relationships are, let's say, distancing because both of you and the Oversoul don't need to feed off of each other anymore because you've coalesced so much with each other. Now you're frequencing further out because you're very comfortable with humanity. Your frequency into different vibrations, but still you always will have an awareness of each other. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I guess so because it yeah it, it resonates what you say it came it came more like oversoul thing to me yes. like we connect but those are the defining ideas of the fractals over to co-create what you guys do so much yeah I mean that's everything uh, much love to you my heart is bound <laughs> my heart is pounding for all of you and for life so thank you much love to you all thank you <laughs> okay Josephus how are we feeling today. Good. Good. Do you have time for another question? Can you hang yes. around? I think awesome. we're good for one more. Alex, yes, sure. did you have a question you wanted to ask? Yeah, can you hear me? We can hear you fine, Alex. Yeah, fine, Alex. Yeah, thank the you. Universe lies the universe within lies you. within you. Continue. Oh, Continue. thank you. Uh, you were um, talking about following your heart, mm -hmm. and uh, in my journey to doing that, I find uh, I create negative situations for me until I just can't get it anymore and move forward and do more steps towards what I want. Mm -hmm. My question is, uh, why do I do that and create indirectly this to myself? Is there a better way? How can no, I no. find it if you are truly easier? Following, to, following, if you are how can truly I find it easier for me to... Problem. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, There's not going to be create a nice experience either. from the initial good situations. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. You're not going to have an easy time. time. Guys, you are Guys, deconstructing, you are deconstructing an, illusion. an illusion. You are deconstructing. You are, deconstructing. You are not. You are not taking down. Taking down. You are not taking apart. You are deconstructing an illusion. It's going to be painful. But if you're following your heart and those limitations you expose are painful. I know they are, let's say, in the moment painful, but they are temporary. And if that is your limitation that you just looked straight in the eyes and said, I'm not going to choose you anymore, and you walk through that wall of fear to trust yourself on the other side, there's only beauty, and then you coalesce that. But if you're looking for an easy way, stop following your heart. Stay mediocre and just be that. Or you are perceiving it that it's going to be hard already because you are tangibly experiencing from your past, I'm following my heart, but it's going to be this or that. Nothing comes to you unless you create it in the now through your perceiving value. So in that idea, Alex, you are following your heart. But you are saying it's not working. I want an easier way. It is working because you're healing. I dare say you're right here and right now and you're freaking fine. 
Are you regretting what you've chosen? Hmm? The past self of you that says, I didn't need to put myself through this, but you did. You experienced, you live, and you're freaking awesome right now. Let that shit go. And it only, Entities of Ascension, gets easier. When you get to a point, and there will be all points in all of your lives, that the worst is over. That will occur as long as you are following and not giving up on you. Following your heart, trusting yourself, trusting what you want to do. I don't want to do this, then don't do it. Yeah, but I should. Fuck it. Yeah, but they say, who are they? Nobody, only you exist in your reality, choosing everyone else in their reality. Be that. Be what you want to be. Follow that heart. And if it pains you, then love the pain. Because the pain forgot too, didn't it? You have compassion for pain, do you not? Oh, yes. Most certainly you do. You are here to heal the illusion. No. You're going to deconstruct it. You're tearing it down. But there will be a point, Alex, that you will just walk away with brilliant, tearful, filling eyes and know that you've done your mastery for those about you that offered more light. Don't take the easy way out because then that will lead down to the same frequency you've been hanging out at. You didn't wake up to hang out where you are. You're here to evolve. The worst will be over. But don't judge it. Because you're a master. Truly. <clears throat> Makes sense? Makes sense. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Can, yes. can I ask another question? Sure. sure. Um, I've been requesting to visit the colonies and also the crystal room. Is there any messages from me about that? Mm. Stand by. Alex. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yes, you have been to the colonies several times. We're allowed to say this beyond the we're permissioning from the idea of the ones running it. You've been there several times, the crystal room, that idea, whatever it perceives to you has been acting upon that. You've been in there understanding it, bringing it back. Teaching, learning, channeling on the colonies as well. Not many idea, DNA ideas. And that's about it. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, that's wonderful. We have another question from the chat mm -hmm. from That's Impossible. So, anyway, they are asking if they have any hybrid children, first off. Yes. Okay, and are they two sons, maybe? Are they what? Two sons, two boys. There are seven. Wow. Seven, and there are three boys and four girls. Awesome. Okay, that answers that question. That was quick mm. and wonderful. And how are you feeling now? Still okay? You willing yes, to hang what out? Time are we, at? we are at 9:44, or excuse me, I think it's a little later than that where you're at. 10:44. Um, hmm. So uh, almost uh, two hours. Almost two hours. Are yes, you still we can okay? Hang another 15 minutes if there are other questions out there. Sure. Okay, Luca would like to know. If there's any messages. Luca, darling. Once again, there is a question that about you, that looms about you, about your experience of why things are happening to me in such manner. You feel you are riding this wonderful wave, hmm? and you attach to ideas of happiness that are perceivable in the future and you follow your joy to get to those.
but the looming question around you is why is why is this keep happening to me when you crash off the wave in that idea mm. metaphorically you come down and you experience something negative and you don't want it anymore we know that but you want to deal with it so why does this keep happening to me is the question that you ask yourself it's not happening to you it's happening for you darling Find that whatever it is in that moment after the experience of the high that brings you to a possibility of shifting your reality to a lower vibration and now choose differently. That is our message. Wonderful. Okay, Sarah has another question, if you don't mind. Mm -mm. Go ahead. Oh, hey, hello, Sarah. Sophia's. Hello. Thank mm -hmm. you. How's the Hi. weather? Oh, nice. Gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> um, I have Did you walk on the beach lately? No, and I really want to get there. Yes, you do, but you're not. I don't know why. why. With my you're crystals so and my stones. It's a little cold to get in the water, though. Well, you don't have to get in the water. Just walk up and feel it. Smell it. Be that environment. Much yeah. cleansing there. Sure. Yeah. Do it. You've been telling yourself you're just delaying for whatever reason. You're telling me. Yes. <laughs> Most certainly. Go ahead. Um, I'm wondering if I called the arc, if, if the archangels are coming because of um, the help I asked for the earth. Hmm. No, these are internal ideas. But these are internal. Mm -hmm. The earth is doing fine. Mother Gaia is fine. She's rocking. There's different parts of the earth who are choosing to treat Mother Gaia in different ways. But in your reality, you treat her, and that's the reality you get. She's fine. She's God. She knows what she's doing. She's mm -hmm. using all of your meditations and love around the world mm -hmm. that you all are giving through your own vibration of choosing to see her in the beauty that she is mm -hmm. that gives her the energy for that and choose that. But she has also much of herself in her that she can understand and coalesce herself because she's evolving too to the 4D being planet that you understand is 4D Earth. Of course. Mm -hmm. Preparing in that idea. So the arcs are not there to help her in that fashion. She's fine. She has all of you. Hmm? Okay. You all are giving hmm, freely. It is an internal idea for you. Okay. Here, yeah. Gabriel says this. Take a few moments Explore Gabriel and your whatever research idea, what I mean, and there will be a few ideas in there that will bring forth, ah, that's what I need to understand. Yes. I was trying to allow Gabriel to explain himself to me by himself without me doing the research. I well, was you can really do that. going for it, but I'm glad you if told it, me that because if it resists, I don't know anything it, about Gabriel. Well, then find <laughs> out. Trust it and resist and use whatever tools are around you. Don't be afraid to use things around you, but don't make them your crutch either. Right. Right. That was my intention, not to make it a crutch. Bingo. Yeah. Follow your heart. Everything is the moment, the moment, the moment, the moment, the moment. It's not the past. I did this too much before. It is. This is what it is now. And your heart tells you different. You don't need that. Then follow your heart and trust your intuition. Mm hmm Thank you for that. You're welcome. Much love. Much love. Um, yes, much love to everyone. And Dan would like to ask a question as well, if he can. Sure. Greetings again, Osiphius. Once again, greetings, Dan. We have a new member in the chat here and on the page, uh, Teresa, who's been very quiet, not saying a word. And she's making me wonder if there's any, any messages for her. And then afterwards... Are there any messages for the Hukalo members? Something, some wisdom you can impart to help us through the energies and the 2016 idea and all of that? Hmm. Well, yes, but maybe before that, could I ask a question before the main Hukalo? Sure. Okay. So go ahead with what Dan was asking first of all. So is Teresa in the room? Yeah. Uh, I am. Hi, Teresa. How are you, though? I'm great, Asifius. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thanks for joining. Thank you so much for letting me be here today. A mm. um, question I have is my skin is burning. It started about two or three months ago. 
and I'm wondering what that is all about. I can't are, get into the doctors. Are, are there's any physical idea, let's say, shifts in is changing in your skin besides the burning? Are you flaking? Yeah. No, just you red. Have psoriasis idea? No, uh uh. Okay. Shingles? Huh, I haven't said that. So I don't Do you ever know have chicken pops? Yes, long time ago. It might be, well, yeah, that, that's a long time ago, but as you age, the idea of a built in program of chicken pox is the idea of shingles. It's not valid in everyone's universe, but this is a probability for you. So that idea, dermatologist can give you, uh, let's say, an idea for that. That's one idea, or just okay. heal it yourself. But there are. I'm trying to work. I understand that. However, the healing for yourself. <clears throat> mm. Stand by. Will happen, but there's other ideas in play that would benefit those involved in this idea ailment you're having that would benefit from your vibration. It's not permanent, in other words. Are you following? Once that co yes. co creation happens, then poof. Make sense? Perfect. Yes. Don't be afraid it does of what your doctor. Doctor said nothing so far. We just found that out, right? They can't figure anything yeah. out. Uh huh. Okay. Given this idea. Yeah, they said it was future. Okay. 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 I have one more question. Okay. Um, I've been told I have hybrid children. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know uh, how many and their names and sexes and where they're from. Oh, my. I know. Well, let's say question. we can't give you all the names and all the sexes. Because oh, you are, okay. okay, if you want to go from this earthly body, this earthly body mm -hmm. is 33. Lord. Okay. That's a lot. Hmm? That is the a lot. Physical, no wonder I feel tired all the time. Your physical other incarnations... Mm -hmm. of co-creation hybrids. And there's too many to name, truly. There's a lot of you out there that are helping in the futures, but that's all now. So the more you're connected with yourself, the more you realize how many you have out there in different ideas, space-time futures and space-time pasts. So 33 with this fractal self, and yes, you're tired a lot. I am. But you're done with this fractal self if you want to be. Okay. I it's do. been, what, four years, I believe? No, two Lord. years. Two years. Two years since I've had some, or two years? Since your last having. Okay. Feels more right. recent? Yes, I was told uh, it was like within the last four to three, two to three weeks, or four to six weeks, something that like that. That wasn't a human. That wasn't you. That was another you. Future you. Oh, okay. 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 Because 33 okay. out of this body is a lot, don't you think? A lot of trips, a lot of energy. You're done. Good. A lot of good things coming toward to me. Well, of course. I okay, know it. Good. You know that, Teresa, that things are good and coming? Yes. And know that and allow it. Make sense? Makes sense. You're rocking it. Beautiful. All right. Thank you, Asifius. Thank you all. Appreciate it. You're most welcome. You're wonderful. Go ahead, Val. Um, yeah, I was going to ask a question, but um, Elle just joined, and so I will forfeit mine if she has a question. So do you, Elle? Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. I love you so much. Happy New Year. I, of course I do. I always have questions. Um, mine will be very quick. Um, what to do when uh, the people vibration around you is very low and you try to push them up and it's not happening. Stop. And Stop. It's all affecting Stop. you. You said the word. Try. That's an obligation. You're not there to try to make them better. You're there to offer your love. If they accept it, Listen, they see inside of you what they are. 
your light, they know their light, they will choose in that individual singularity moment whether they want to follow that light or not. That's not your job. But if you see them not choosing, then you're going to try to make them raise them. No. No. Let them go in whatever way you want to, can, and wait for the next moment of interaction, if there is one to be at all. Trust that. Don't try to take people and raise there because then you're trying to be a preacher. Don't preach. Offer. Be the stillness of the light that you already are. They come to you and say, hey, what do you got? And even if they are, you just say, okay, I understand. This is what I believe, though. This is how I'm happy. The difference between me and me is you're arguing because you're angry. I'm not arguing because I'm not angry because I'm at perfect peace with my own self. That's the telltale clue. Nothing bothers you. But if it bothers them, they're seeing their own limitations, and that's how they're birthing it. Damn it. I don't like what you're doing. That's not right. Yes, we understand that. We understand that you don't see it the way I do, and that's perfect. But they didn't get to that point until you allowed your light to shine. Then they saw your light, recognized themselves, and wants to understand. So they choose to fight it or not. Maybe in another time, they'll be more open. So don't try to raise people's ascension because you are only frustrating yourself because they're their own individual free will choice. You're light workers. You offer light. Make sense? Yes, thank you. Beautiful. What else? Okay, wonderful. I think today has gone long enough and everyone has gotten their question answered and we appreciate all the time that you've given us today, Osipius. Mm -hmm. um, we would like to bring back Roxy now, if that's okay. Well, an idea of what Dan had asked. For the 2016 years to come in the Hukulo members, there will be, let's say, shifts about you. There will be some that leave and more that come. There will be a changing of the guards in some fashion, most certainly. But each and every one of you know that the, let's say, role that you want to play within the human colonies is the one that is singing to you. Follow your heart, be that, and let human colonies continue on its idea journey through the year of 2016, ever expanding most certainly. That is our message for the colonies. Beautiful. So that is all we have for this space time now. This is Osiphius from the Oversoul Collective Fire. It has been an honor once again to co-create with that of my friends, humanity. I bid you a good day. I don't know. Okay, we're back, Roxy now. Hi, Hi Roxy. Ah, Ooh. we went a little over. You did a wonderful job for everyone oh, today. Love you, Roxy. Booyah. yeah. Thank you. Dan did have a few announcements, and we'll let Roxy take a little rest while he does his announcements. Yo. Yes, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> We can do that. Uh, let me get to the one announcement is tomorrow, Karen Newman is hosting a webinar with uh, Costa McCreus and Hollis Polk to discuss their work on the CE5 protocols. Notes that Costa used to work with Dr. Stephen Greer and now is the host of ET Let's Talk. And the details are on the website, and the, the event is uh, listed on Google Plus events. You can find more information there. Um, another announcement is Hukalo Human Colony is moving to a new website. I've posted it on the Google Events page. Um, for those that don't have access, it's uh, hukalo.ning.com. Uh, the older website has been experiencing some issues, as some are aware of, and we're going over to Ning. It seems to be a little bit more seamless. It's a little bit more bloggy looking, but um, the function should be uh, maybe slightly smoother. So we're shifting over. So everybody who's a member of Hukalo that would like to join the new web page, that would be awesome. And, uh, and that's all I have. There you go. Back to you, Valerie. Well, that's wonderful news. And then later on this afternoon, um, I believe that Makiko is having a DNA uh, show, and everyone is welcome to join that. It's very interesting. 
I don't know if you all have heard of Andrew Bardis, but it is discussing his view on the DNA. And um, also the contract removals, revocations, uh, sole contract revocations and removals. So that will be kind of interesting and fun. Um, I don't know of anything else coming up, but um, let's see. We do have a lot of new members joining, and that's wonderful news. And please, everyone, make them welcome. We are such a great group, and I would like everyone to understand how much love there is out there to share. And we would love to do any blessings, if there is any blessings that anyone would like to give today before we close. Sarah? Yeah, thanks. Sarah sounds good. Sarah, would you do the blessing? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I have two, it seems. One from the Nagas and one from the Syrians. Namaste from the Nagas. Namaste. Kirin suku shataiku nashi asiki ashutuna kashi ti asiki asu ti asaka kurun tia tarantu kainiki ushipi aha. Sayaha kurunta ani kia si anchu tia saka mia si kia su ashulonu atia shanti ukutu ashu tanakaha Namaste Namaste Namaste. Thank you, Sarah. That was wonderful. Namaste. Namaste. Okay. Okay. Okay, if we have no further, I'll go ahead and close the webinar. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you, uh, YouTube viewers. We had a really, really good Thank count you. today. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thank you, Roxy, for coming on yeah. such short notice. Poor Thanks, Jim. Roxy. Yeah. Thank you, Roxy. Thank you, Roxy. Poor, poor Jim is, is and remember, hey, yeah. I do have a YouTube channel, Odyssey of Ascension. So yeah. tune in, check it out. I got lots of fun videos there from different guys. So yes, check thank me you, out. Yes. Check me yeah. out now. No way, my soul brother. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Yeah, yeah. thank you thank for Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you, thank you, everybody. See you all next week. Thank you.